the uh, people in Parliament here are saying we have to take this seriously and have some contingency plans in case there is. There's going to be something's going to happen. They just don't know the extent of it. Newsweek, January 2nd, 1997, had an article called The Day the World Crashes. And they had worst case scenario, best case scenario. And even the best case scenario, you know, there were a lot of problems. The worst case scenario was what he said. It'll be like Beirut or something like that. I mean, it's sad they use that as an example. Uh, who, who do the, the scholars consider to be mujaddid of the past hundred years? I, I, you know, I don't know. There's a, there's a Sahih Hadith. Uh, Allah will send at the head of every generation somebody who renews the deen. And some of the ulama say the man there is... Uh, does not indicate that it only has to be one, that it can be more than one person. Generally, the ulama uh, recognize certain mujaddidun, like Imam Shafi'i was considered a mujaddid, uh, Imam Al Ghazali was considered, radiallahu anhu, was considered a mujaddid, and, and many others oh, throughout history. Uh, is the World Cup and other competitions, I mean, a part of the Dajjal system? I, you know, I, time went so fast. I really wanted to go through each one of the areas because, and I, I had slides for it and everything, but I just didn't get time to do it. There are each area of this system, which it, you can identify the political level, the uh, social level, educational level, medicine, um, all of the different. There, are, you know, the Dijal, There is a system here. It is Dijalic by nature. Um, sports is a major part of it. All right, and there was a, a beautiful poster here. They had big in England that I saw last time I was here, and there was some you know skinhead type person jumping up and down and see, and and it said for some people soccer is their religion, and then on the bottom it said we know how you feel, and it was an advertisement for a sports channel, and the point is that is not hyperbole. For some people, soccer is their religion. It is a religion. And they go to it like if they would go to church. They learn, their, their saints are all the heroes. They want to be just like them, the soccer players. Um, you know, Pele is probably at the, the level of prophet or something like that. Um, some, some people give no importance to Salah. They say we have to establish Kedapa. I haven't met any Muslim that does that, personally. I have. I mean, there are Muslims that emphasize Kedapa and the, the, the Khilafah is true, we're lacking Khilafah and, and the, the, our enemies recognize that. If you read Samuel Huntington's book, one of the things he says is that the Muslims, uh, since they've lost their head, even though it was a titular that, uh, you know, a head, it did not have real authority or power, he said they have not been able to regain any type of cohesion. Uh, and that is true. And we do need a khilafah, there's no doubt. And that is an important element of it. Uh, I think where we'll get into differences is what is the methodology that will bring that about. And uh, certainly the hadith which indicate the khilafah would remain on minhaj and nabuwa for 30 years is a sound hadith.